Hi, today we're going to talk about the kit component of the inventory module. A kit is an item that you assemble when you sell it. So it's not something you keep in inventory, but something that you assemble when you're ready to sell it out of inventory, when somebody actually wants to buy it. And as you can see from the screen, it's very similar to going to a fast food restaurant and ordering a burger, for example. Because when you're ordering a burger, your receipt looks like the one on the right. It just has that you're ordering a burger. But what you're actually ordering, in the case of this big burger, are two beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. And instead of having your receipt detail everything that's coming out of inventory, you just see the burger. But the system has to know to reduce inventory by these quantities so it can maintain what the inventory levels are within the restaurant that you're ordering from. And Kits is a very similar uh, animal as far as how that handles that. So let's take a look at this now. So what I'm going to do is pull up Great Plains. Okay, and I'm in inventory under cards and kits and I've pulled up a kit right here. So I have this assembled data card and we're going to invoice this out for somebody and see exactly how it works. So in inventory I've created this item it is not something I stock in inventory. Again, it, I just stock the components that make up this assembled item. Now, you might want to note that you can include non-inventory uh, non -inventory items in the kit because you probably want to include assembly time, for example. So if you have any manpower involved in assembling it, you might want to put that in as well. So you could put in uh, uh, inventory items that are set up as services and miscellaneous as well. And then when you set up the items, you tell it how many of each of these items will make up this one kit. And you're also going to tell it for cost of goods sold, should it come from, uh, be calculated by the individual cost of the components, or do you want to create your own cost? And in this case, for this assembly data card, we're gathering the cost of all the individual components that are used and combining them to create our cost of goods sold. So let's go through the process of selling this item. So what I'm going to do is pull up a uh, sales order processing invoice that I've already started and I'm going to come in to my item number and I'm going to use the detail entry so I can get access to this kit button down at the bottom. And let me start typing in my kit item, my assembly data card. And I'm going to tell it that I want, uh, let's just say one. And I'm going to get a shortage right now. I do have enough components, but we'll look at the individual ones later. But I don't have any of these in stock right now, so I'll just simply click on OK. And I'm going to click on my kit item now. Now I can see from here, uh, this is my kit option window, I can see all of the uh, components that are going to be used. So if we think back to ordering that hamburger, if you, for example, do not want uh, cheese on your burger, and maybe you also want to add ketchup, uh, then you're going to see on your invoice, you're going to see the addition to ketchup and you're going to see the removal of cheese. So in that example, we'd come in and, and add to that, we'd say um, no cheese, right? That's what it would look like. And we would add ketchup. So what's actually being removed, oops, got a miss ketchup. What's actually being removed here is we are changing this one slice of cheese from inventory because we're not taking that out of inventory to one ounce of ketchup instead. So our inventory is now going to be reduced accordingly. So again back to Great Plains. Okay so you'll notice the cost of this item is 47.16 and so what I'm going to do is remove this particular transistor from my kit. So I'm just going to go up and choose to delete that row. And when I do so and tab through, you'll now notice that my cost has changed to 37.32. And that's because I've removed that kit item. And I could add any other additional item that I want. But as far as the customer sees, they're just seeing this assembled data card. That's all they need to see. So that's a little bit about how kits work. They're pretty cool pretty powerful. I hope this helps.